Hello VC, what's going on? It's Will and I am back with a very quick video to do uh, just a contest update and a contest reminder and I'm also gonna do uh, near the end of the video I'm gonna do a very quick what's spinning with some CDs that I've been listening to in the last few days or so uh, so yeah about the contest uh, just in case you missed the contest uh, announcement video uh, I'll put a link here in the description to a playlist that includes all the entries uh, so far to the contest and also the uh, contest announcement video with all the rules and the description about the contest uh, about the contest as well um, and I have received uh, nine entries so far to the contest uh, from VC members and thank you very much to everyone that has made a video entry um, to the contest so far um, of course the contest not over yet so you can still make an entry and uh, but the VC members that have made an, a video entry so far are the following uh, Gregory Short the Jeb dude or Joseph, uh, Blackmore Rules, The Vinyl Corner or Miko, Jorgen S, My Analog Corner or Karsten Olsten, Cloudy Miller, James Griffith and Baraka P Dub. Those are the nine that I have um, in my list so far. And in case you have made an entry video to the contest and I don't have you in the list or you're not listed in the playlist, uh, please let me know as soon as possible so I can add you to the list because I may have missed it. I don't know, it wasn't intentional. Uh, but anyways, uh, the contest uh, runs until the 30th of September. Um, but I just recently noticed that the 30th of September is actually a Friday and I do know that a lot of VC members like to make videos on uh, on the weekend so I will accept videos on the, um, uh, on on Saturday and Sunday and I'm gonna try to make the the drawing for the contest on on Monday or Tuesday of the following week so you still have um, about a week and a half or two weeks to make an entry if you want to and um, just a summary of the description of the of the contest. You just have to mention your three favorite favorite trios. That is a band with three band members and show one record per uh, your favorite records by your favorite trios. Uh, very simple um, rules. There's not really that much involved in the contest. So uh, feel free to make an entry if you want so far and make sure to send me a comment uh, letting me know that you have made an entry so I can add you to the list. And uh, yeah, that's it about the contest. And uh, just also wanted to make a very quick uh, what's spinning uh, with a few CDs that I've uh, been listening to so far uh, lately, either in my car or at home. Um, but I listen to a lot of CDs, so I'm gonna show you a few CDs. I have here a handful of them. Uh, first of all, the Foo Fighters with uh, Wasting Light. Uh, this was a recent gift for me and I haven't uh, I, I didn't own this CD before I was of course aware of it when it came out but I just recently listened to the whole thing uh, from for front to back and uh, this record just kicks ass it's a super high energy very fast very hard uh, album by the Foo Fighters and it also comes with this really cool packaging with a cool picture of the Foo's and lots of great tunes here. Uh, Bridge Burning, Rope. Um, I really, really like the song called White Limo, which uh, it features just um, Dave Grohl from the, the singer of the Foo Fighters just growling and screaming like a crazy man. A great tune, uh, the White Limo from uh, the Foo Fighters from Wasting Light. I've also been listening to some Metallica, uh, some classic Metallica with uh, Ride the Lighting. Uh, not much to say here, just a classic uh, thrash album. I really like the end song in the album, the, the Call of uh, Tulu. I don't know really how to, how to um, pronounce the last word of that song. Uh, but I, I love this album, just a hard rocking, high energy uh, thrash metal. Uh, some alternative rock classics uh, with uh, L7, with their album Hungry for Stink. I actually just recently saw L7 with their reunion show. They just played here in, in Atlanta a few weeks ago on a festival, on a music festival. And uh, of course I went to see them and they put a great show. And I also got the chance to meet them because they had a meet and greet and a signing kind of thing. And uh, they're very friendly and uh, their music is fantastic. A lot of catchy tunes in this record. I really like the songs like Andres and Time Bomb and Stuck Here Again. A very, very catchy tune. Uh, check them out, uh, L7 with uh, Hungry For Stink. I'm hoping that they put out that new album now that they have reunited. Uh, next, uh, I've also this is a new pickup for me. This is The Kills 
with Ash and Ice, another band that I just recently saw just a few days ago, uh, almost exactly a week ago. Uh, they played a live show here in Atlanta and they rocked out. They just kicked so much ass. It's just a duo and uh, this is their newest album. Uh, it features Alison Mosshart, of, um, um, she's also known for her previous band called Discount, which was a pop-punk ba band. Uh, but most recently, more recently, she has been playing with Jack White in, her, in Jack White's side project, The Dead Weather. Which I believe that's also her side project, because The Kills is, is her main band. And this is just a killer guitar rock uh, album. Um, very, very highly recommended if you want to check it out. Uh, very good, um, uh, lots of catchy tunes, um, like I said, very, very good. The guitars and of course if it features Alison Mosshart it has to have good vocals because she's such a great singer and uh, by the way they are touring right now so if you want to check them out make sure that if, if, you're, if they're playing in your town make sure that you check them out because they put a great show again the kills with Ash and Ice and uh, finally uh, this is a recent pickup from uh, Goodwill from the thrift store and I don't really usually pick up uh, movie soundtracks but this one I was very curious about uh, this is the soundtrack for the movie Train Spotting, and uh, it features a lot of really good bands here it has um, of course Iggy Pop, uh, Brian Eno uh, Sleeper doing a cover of uh, Blondie with Atomic uh, New Order with Temptation uh, another song by Iggy Pop, Blur Lou Reed, Pulp Elastica, Damon Albarn from Blur, lots of really good artists here, um, fantastic, fantastic um, uh, movie soundtrack. Uh, I still have to watch the movie. <laughs> I have it in my in in my Netflix Netflix queue, but I haven't seen it yet, so I have a, I have to watch it now that I see that the 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 music from the movie is just so good. Uh, fantastic song. I really like the cover that Sleeper did, did from uh, a song originally done by Blondie and uh, the song Atomic, and of course the the song by New Order is fantastic too with uh, Temptation. Uh, check it out uh, the movie soundtrack from uh, Train Spotting. Uh, great, great. Uh, movie soundtrack uh, but yeah that's all I have to show you for today and also mention my um, uh, little plug for my my 390 subscribers contest uh, thank you for all that uh, for all the VC members that have made a, a video entry for the contest I am very impressed with the variety of bands that, be, that people have been mentioning in their videos because uh, some people mention rap bands some people mention jazz uh, bands some rock some pop a little bit of everything and I don't think um, there have been multiple entries as far as uh, bands so far which is very impressive I thought that there would be more uh, double entries as far as uh, different uh, VC members uh, but uh, it's very cool to see what their favorite uh, trios are so far in the in the VC uh, again you still have a couple of weeks to make an entry if you want to let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching VC bye bye